Hello, and welcome to Insightful Conversations with your host, Three Principles Practitioner, Del A.D. Jones. Join her each week as she welcomes some of the world's leading Three Principles teachers and practitioners who share how this understanding has dramatically improved the quality of their lives and the lives of those they work with. I'm so happy to have Jasmine DeBain with me today. Jasmine likes to remind everyone that she is first and foremost human. She is also an animal and nature lover, self-proclaimed inspirer, certified transformative coach, and three principles practitioner. She is also the co-author of the best-selling book, The Midas Touch. She is an expert facilitator in business systems and host of the podcast, Dream It, Dare It, Do It, Live the Life You Want. She loves to guide people back to their innate well-being and peace to experience the freedom within this space. Chances are, anywhere you see her, you will also see her Shih Tzu Poodle mix, Bote, somewhere around her. So hi, Jasmine. It's lovely to see you again and your beautiful Bote. Did I say it correctly? You did. You <laughs> did. Hi, Del. How are you? Uh, I'm great. Thank you. It's great to have you here. Um mm-hmm. We had so much fun the other day. We, we did. Talked, we talked about everything on your show. So um, let's see if we have as much fun today. I'm teasing. We will. So um, I was reading your your bio. You've had a really interesting career. I mean, you've been a coach and a business consultant for many, many years. So um, I'd love to hear a little bit about your life um, prior to coming across the principles. And really, what was it that actually drew you to the principles? Well, wow. Before I, I was a business girl, I, I, I wanted to follow in my father's footsteps. And I wanted a business card that <laughs> what I wanted. And, um, and so I studied administration. And as soon as I got out of school, I found a job. And, and as I, you know, I came into the job, they hired me, actually, they hired me to be the receptionist. And three days later, they told me, no, we actually, we're going to put you as a clerk accountant. And the more that I would uh, work, the the just the more I wanted to learn. So I became customer service very quickly because I was answering the phone. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I was making relationships with clients and they were asking me the questions instead of asking sales. So I very quickly became... I, I, I'm personable, like I get along with everybody. So, so I became customer service, and then I became a sales coordinator, and then I became sales manager. And so I, I worked hard in that company, and I learned everything about the business. Mm-hmm. And I was traveling across Canada and the United States, and I was training the manufacturer's reps, and I was training the distributors reps and I was speaking with the end users of the product Mm. so um worked really really hard worked there for 10 years and at some point in my life during this job because all I was doing was working Mm. and uh, at at one point I realized that I was angry daily (laughs) like driving to work and working with these people that I actually loved mm-hmm. was just hell. And back then, I associated it to them. Mm-hmm. Not me, yeah. them. <laughs> as and, we do. <laughs> yeah, as we do. And I quit. And, um, and then I said, you know, I want to do what I want when I want. So I said, I'm going to take a month off and I'm just going to think about what can I do? And I had been 10 years with this company. So I, Mm -hmm. I had done everything from, you know, voice work, like, you know, recording, answering machine and, and answering the phones. And they had made me do a whole bunch of classes, sales and stuff. And so I studied for a month, looking at everything I knew how to do. And after a month, I started getting scared. And I was like, wait, I have to bring in income. I can't just like quit my job without anything else because I had nothing, (laughs) you know? So I said, I got to go get another job. So I found another job with a guy that I really liked. 
and I went to work with him. And after three months of working with him, I was back to mad all the time. <laughs> and he was an idiot. And I was like, wait a second. What's the predominant factor? in do like they were two different in their uh, industries. They had totally different staff, totally different clients. And I'm like, but what's the predominant factor in those two things? And I was like, wait a second, it's me. <laughs> well, you're a fast learner. Sometimes it takes people a lot more than two jobs to figure that one out. Yeah. That they are the common denominator. So that's that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. And then I, start, I started studying. I was like, okay, well, if it's me, what can I do to fix me? So then I went into a rampage of fixing me. Yeah. <laughs> Like and, uh, again. <laughs> yeah. And then and then I I I found transformational conversations. Mm -hmm. And that became, you know, really like amazing to me. Like how one day I would look at something, they it would look one way. Mm -hmm. And the next day I would look at the same things and everything changed. Yeah. Yet everything was the same. And that's the beginning of me learning the transformational conversation. And I got into the principles later on because I started with something else before. Yeah. T talk a little bit about that because I, I, I wanted to, yeah, you wrote a book with um, uh, Joe... Vitali is his name? Joe Vitali, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was that was the whole sort of world of, of law of attraction and things like that. So is, is that the world you were going to reference then? Uh, no, that wasn't exactly oh. it. I kind of played with the law of attraction for a little mm -hmm. while. I mean, the secret, I thought the secret was so wow. Like, mm. But what, you know, the thing that got me really excited about the secret when I first learned it was the... the 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 life that you have right now is not who you are it's a result of what you thought mm. and that just blew my mind because i was like it really like i remember watching the movie pausing the movie and rethinking that over and over again and i was like right now is a result like what i have right now is a result of what i thought and i was like yes and I could see it like I could literally see. Yeah, I thought this and this is here and I thought that and this is oh. here and I, you know, and it yeah. really so the 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 work that I was talking about is another organization. I'm not going to name the organization, mm -hmm. but it's they talk about transformation mm -hmm. and um, it it really transformed my life. I was with them for like nine years six wow. seven eight nine years i was i was with them for a long time what i've learned with them was presence because i was a um, simultaneous translator my first language is french mm -hmm. and i live in quebec and in quebec we have both the french and the english language and so primarily the courses are given in french but there are english speaking participants that wanted to take the class but couldn't because the class was given in English, in French. Mm -hmm. So I was there to whisper in their, in their ear and let them know what the class was. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I learned in this was that I saw myself having conversations in my head, mm. you know, and I was like, wow, I can actually translate and have conversations in my head at the same time. Yeah. And that really showed me what presence was, like how to be in the moment you're being now. You're not paying your bills mm -hmm. while you're talking to Dell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're not unless solving, you get unless you get really bored. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not solving a YouTube problem that you're having right now. You mm -hmm. know? you're literally present in the now, and you're dealing with, with what's there. And I learned that from that conversation. Mm, that's wonderful. And such a, such, a, I mean, it's so amazing. I'm just writing my blog this week about that, about, you know, how much of life we miss out on because we're in our heads. We're, we're thinking about, you know, an imagined future or something that happened in the past. We're very, very 
rarely really, really present. We just keep getting, and which is fine, it's human. We know we do that. But, you know, mm -hmm. fortunately, the principles helps us, you know, go, oh, I'm back up here. Let me get back to the present. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so, okay, so that was another organization you were with for nine years, you said. So, what, so was there so, still a part of you that was seeking? Was there still something you felt was missing? What brought you to... Um, well, when I, when I left this organization, um, I got scared. It's like, oh, what if I become, see, you see a pattern in mm -hmm. me, like left a job, then I got scared. And then I, you know, <laughs> so I got scared again. And I was like, well, what if I become, I, I come back to who I was before my understanding, I got scared. So I started researching and I got onto Hay House Radio mm -hmm. and on Hay House Radio, I met Michael Neal. And Michael would speak and I'd be like, yeah, 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 that's what I think. You know, like I constantly, and then I found him on the web mm -hmm. and then I started following him, started taking classes with him and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That's, that's so beautiful. So, um, so I, I love your, your self-proclaimed title of the inspiration. But what is it now? And double the inspirer. Inspirer. So tell me more about that. I love that title. <laughs> one of the things that I saw that I loved doing, and that actually one of the things that happened as I was with the other organization, I mm -hmm. was coaching. Mm -hmm. You know, because back there we were translators or interpreters. And we had coachees. So we were coaching them. And so I started, that's where I started coaching, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this conversation. And people would say, oh, man, I'm so inspired, you know, and they would always they like, I don't know how many times they would say that, like, or they'd say, wow, I can't believe you just said that to me. Anybody else would have said that to me and I would have smacked them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you say it and I'm like, yeah, and I'm inspired by it. And it, it just became this thing where I just loved inspiring people. Yeah. And, um, and in French, it's very easy. It's called l'inspiratrice, right? Like it's, it's an easy word, but it, the inspirer just didn't sound good. <laughs> I'm the inspirer. So <laughs> I, I thought of the impress. Yeah. You know, and I was like, oh, I'm the inspirer. So I made it up. I just oh, made it up. <laughs> well, it suits you really well. It's 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 a great name. But I, I but you caught my attention when you said that if somebody else had said it, they would have you know been resistant to it or wanted to punch you. What 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 were some of the things you would say to people? I'm just curious. Well, <laughs> I'd say things say like uh, just like I'd say thing. Well, you know, you're kind of just trying to get the attention there, aren't you? You know, and people would be like, hmm, hmm. yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, or I'd say things like, maybe you're manipulating things here right now. <laughs> you know, It's just like, you know, sometimes we just have to be honest with ourselves. I yeah. mean, the, the second that I saw I was manipulating, mm -hmm. like I saw myself manipulating and I was like, oh my God, I never thought I did it. But I was like... I am manipulating it so that I can get my result. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's such a, it's so funny. I, I had the same reaction. I think it was a, it was actually a psychic or something like that once said to me, surely, are you a manipulator? And I remember going, me? No, no, no way would I manipulate. I was so defensive. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? We all manipulate. We all have an agenda. We all, it's just sort of a blind spot. It's part of being human. We, we do sort of, you know, we, we know what we like. We have preferences, unconscious or conscious, and we, and we sort of go for them. So, um, yeah. and sometimes we do it also, you know, I think that the older I got, the, the better at what I was at wrapping it in a nice way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm manipulating right now, but it's really, you know, once I'm finished, you'll understand and you'll be with me. <laughs> it was so manipulating, Jasmine. It was just so funny. Oh, that's so great. That's so funny. 
<laughs> so, um, uh, no, well, bring me to your next, your podcast to another great name, Dream It, Dare It, Do It, Live the Life You Want. So where, where was the inspiration for that? You know, I just fall on stuff and I just create <laughs> things just like the inspirers. Honestly, you know, when I told you the story about how I left one company and I went to live to work with that other guy, well, that other guy, you know, when I finally realized, you know, the problem was me. I mean, mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with him. I just told him, listen, I'm going to work with you, but I'll work with you as an as, as a consultant. That's how I became a consultant, really. Mm -hmm. So he said, OK, so it's no problem, you know, and and I when I made my first invoice, I called it D3. Mm -hmm. So it was D3 services, D for de bien which is my name. And back then I was watching a TV sh show called Charm. Then they had a bar called P3, which I thought was really nice. So I said, yeah, D3 is kind of cool. D3 services. So I just make stuff up, right? Yeah. And then he goes, well, what does D3 mean? And I was like, <laughs> hold on a second. And I was like, dream there do, Yeah, yeah. dream it, dare it, do it. So back in 2001, I really called it dream it, dare it, do it for D3 services, mm -hmm. right? But I never really used it, like not in as, as a consultant. But then when I decided I was going to do a podcast, I was like, it just fits. Yeah. It, like, it, it was almost like a full circle. I woke up, I remember I was in bed, I was like, dream it, dare it, do it. That's what I'm going to call it. And the live the life you want came after season one. Because mm -hmm. I could see that when I say dream it, dare it, do it, it's just like I want people to dream. Like we we quit dreaming. We we just for, stop at one point as we get old. Not all of us, but many of us. And sometimes because just because of the thinking we have, and then we stop daring, or we don't dare because of the thinking we have, and then we don't do. Like the inevitable, the inevitable result of listening to your thinking is that you just stop doing mm -hmm. and, and then you just wind up like me 10 years in a business or in a job that I'm like miserable at because all I was doing was I wanted to have a business card and I wanted to have a title and I wanted to have the yearly salary and that wasn't really the life I wanted really. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love what you're saying, and it's so true. I, I think think the the principles are. I often think it's the sort of it's the safety net that allows us to play more, to really you know because we can't you know when we live in the world of you know the illusion that we that security comes from you know as you say the monthly paycheck or whatever it is or the money in the bank. <clears throat> when we know that that's you know that can go in second. I mean we've all experienced the ups and downs of that. I'm sure. But knowing that that's that we are resilient, that we are we will bounce back no matter what. Knowing that, I think, gives us the freedom to play a lot harder. Certainly for me, you know, when I was younger, I <clears throat> I was playing safe too because I I don't know I just lived in a world of fear where I thought I had to be safe. But you know, since coming across the principles, I'm like you know, no, this is a playground. Let's just play and have fun, and as you said, dream again. Yeah. So I love that. And I love how the how the title came to you years and years ago. It was like wisdom was speaking to you back then. It was like, well, here it is. <laughs> and then when it was it was time for it to be used, it was already sort of deep inside you. It's like, oh yeah, here we go. This is perfect. You know what's really cool when I think about that? I kind of like look at everything that I have done in my life has brought me to today. You mm -hmm. know, and I can and like, I mean, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. It's really, really amazing. Like now I'm just like, okay, I, I want a website. Oh, I'm going to do a website. I want, you know, I want visuals. I'm going to do visuals. I want video. I want a podcast. I want like everything that I've done in my life has brought me to where I am today. Yeah. And it's just like really, really cool. It was, wisdom has been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's been there from the beginning. It didn't just pop in when you got to exactly to understand the principles. Exactly. Uh, and I was talking with, I actually had a conversation with Mavis Karn. I don't know if oh, yeah? you, 
Yeah. yeah. I had a conversation with Mavis Karn uh, just a couple days ago. And, you know, I was telling her, you know, I'm not there yet. Mm. You know, and she was like, I'm going to stop you right there. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what I say, what I say. And she's like, the word, there's no place to be, Jasmine. There's mm. no there. There doesn't exist. And I was like, ah. It's just that sometimes I see it and sometimes I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I love Mavis Khan too. I had her on this show and it's so right. I think so many people have, have this sort of, it's so funny because it's so sneaky. They think that there is a there, there, like I'll be happier when I get there or well, where is there, you know, or I'll be, I'll be more satisfied when I find out what my life's purpose is. It's like, well, however you're showing up today is actually your life's purpose. It's not something out there, over there that you're going to get to and suddenly have a better experience of life. But it's so funny. We, we do get caught up in that, yeah. that, you know, that there is a destination that will bring us more happiness. That's something that I actually, um, because I used to study the law of attraction years ago too. And it was, I, I went to a place called the university of Santa Monica. It's a spiritual psychology master's program. And we did a lot of the law of attraction too. And, and the one thing that I took issue with was this, I'll be happy when I get this. If I just focus my thinking on that, I'll get it. And then I'll be happy. Um, and I know that's not, exactly how you know the law of attraction works but I could see there was an innocent misunderstanding that people were putting their life on hold um, thinking that once they had achieved these things through vision boarding or whatever it was that they would then be happy um, and I what I love about the principles is like no you can be happy right now nothing has to change on the outside nothing has to um you know, the, the, a different person in your life or a different circumstances is not going to make you happier. I mean, I'm not saying we're not impacted by it, but the, the waiting until we get these things to be happy, I think, is a trap that we can innocently fall into. Yeah, I think that the thing that I see a lot mm -hmm. is that people fall in love with the description of what it is you know like the law of a, like, i i'm i'm having a visual of you know in one of the move in the movie the guy is like sitting in his car and pretending to sit in his car and he's like yeah sit there and feel the feelings and you know it will come and all of this and i'm like that's those are words that was tr that was somebody trying to point to a feeling which is what we talk about yeah in in this in the principles it's kind of like it's not the words even even as we're talking anybody listening it has nothing to do with the words don't get caught up on the word Look at the feeling that you get. When I was listening to the law of attraction stuff, you know, I would look at it and I would go, you know, when this guy said, it's the result of your, what you thought, I was like, wow. And, and then I stopped listening to him because I heard something for me. And then I started to look within myself mm -hmm. yeah. at what really felt like truth. And our, each and every one of us can feel the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, like, it's not about the words. It's, a, it's about the feeling. It's about how are you feeling. And you're going to know if you listen within yourself, you're going to know. When somebody says something weird, you're going to go, eh, not too sure. You don't have to make them wrong. Yeah. You don't have to go, oh, he's an idiot or that's wrong or that's right. Don't even get caught up in that. Just go, mm, mm, mm. not working for me. Yeah. And that's why we call it insight, because if it's if it's not felt from within, if it doesn't resonate from within, as you say, if the feeling isn't there, then it's it's just it's not ours 
for want of a better word. I think we mm-hmm. have to experience it and feel it for ourselves. And that's why I love about some of the old, the older generation teachers that say, just share what you what you know, meaning don't share from up here what you've heard. Share from yeah. what you know, from what you felt, from that feeling that impacted you so deeply that you, you your life changed or your experience of life changed. Yeah. So I, I love what you're pointing to there. It's it's so true. We can get, we can, you know, especially I often think, God said, why did you change the words to mind, thought, and consciousness or the, or the three principles? It's confused a lot of people because people think they go, oh, is this like one less than the four agreements or or three less than the seven, you know, habits of highly successful people? They want the three rules to live by. And it's yeah. like, no, it's not that. It's just a description <laughs> of how, how we experience life. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, that's so great. So I'm going to do what you asked me the other day. And for anybody listening, what what would you say, what nugget of wisdom or as far as sort of imparting some profound knowledge that you receive from looking in this direction, what would that be? Mm, What do I want to say? I don't want to go from my head. I want to go from my heart. Mm, I love that. Um. I think what shows up is look within, be you just the way you are and just the way you're not Mm. and have fun. I love that. That's so, it's, it's just, it is, it's, it's all we've all we've got is who we are and i think you know we do we abandon ourselves we reject ourselves there's nothing to abandon or reject it's all fabulous even the bad moods the low moods the 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 shadow side of us it's all it's all who we are it's all brilliant it's all you know you're perfect you're perfect the way you are Mm -hmm. if you could if you could just be with the now and just notice that this is it this is your life. Mm-hmm. This is it. So what do you want to do? <laughs> I love that. So I think that's a perfect place to end on. It's a beautiful feeling. So um, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bote, sorry, didn't, uh, didn't wake up for the whole thing. Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bote's here. We were happy to come, eh, Bote? Are we were happy? <laughs> she's, she's like so... wait what am i supposed to be doing something now <laughs> oh well enjoy the rest of your day it was really lovely having you on thank you for inviting me oh, my pleasure take care take care bye 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 thank you so much for listening to the show if you're interested in learning more about my coaching and mentoring packages please reach out to me at delladyjones at gmail.com i would love to hear from you 